Hello everyone. I am Atharva, a third year MBBS student, and welcome to the first part of Who Am I, where we will be discussing a unique clinical case. So let's begin. A 28 year old female, African American, office worker, lives in a metropolitan area with frequent international travel. The patient presents to the OPD with a complaint of frequent loose stools for the past six weeks. She reports going to washroom four to five times a day with watery stool. There is no blood, but she occasionally sees mucus. She has recently returned from Southeast Asia two months ago, where she ate street food and drank local water. The patient also complains of abdominal cramps, pain, especially before bowel movements. The pain often subsides after she passes stool. She has lost around five kg in the last two months, despite eating normally. Her appetite remains intact. The stools are mostly watery and occasionally have some mucus, but there is no visible blood. She mentions occasional episodes of irritable bowel syndrome in the past, triggered by stress, but nothing lasting this long. She denies any fever, but she sometimes feels fatigued and notices occasional nausea. On physical exam, she has mild tenderness in the lower abdomen, particularly in the left lower quadrant. There are no signs of peritoneal irritation, no palpable masses or hepatosplenomegaly. Congratulations to all those who got the diagnosis correct, but who didn't. Let's see what's the diagnosis. Stool analysis shows the presence of ova and parasite of Giardia lamblia. Stool culture is negative for bacterial pathogens, whereas the blood tests show no significant findings. There is mild dehydration though. Hence, by the diagnostic text, we can conclude that the disease is chronic diarrhea caused by GI disease. Also, the parasitic infection which is acquired through contaminated water during her recent travel. Treatment options available for this condition are metronidazole for GI infection. She can be also advised rehydration therapy and dietary modifications. Let's see what could be the differential diagnosis for the condition. watching and let's meet in the next video with